Hey Jill, I wasn't sure if I was going to talk about this on the internet or not, but I've decided that I think it's kind of important for people to hear my story and maybe they're going through the same thing and it will inspire them to do what I did. So here we go. So for those of you who don't know, um, I work... Lately, my work has been cutting back on hours because of Christmas. I've been getting like three hours every one week or two weeks. So I took it upon myself to go out and find a second part-time job because I am a university student and I'm poor. Let's face it, I'm poor, I'm paying for tuition. Well, luckily for me, I found a job and I decided that I would work the new job that I found and my old job considering how I was only getting three hours a week or so, which wasn't a big deal to me. And I kind of just wanted to keep it because I liked it. I liked where I was working. Um, I mean, it wasn't a career, but it was a lot better than working at McDonald's or, if you're Canadian, Tim Hortons and places like that. So I wrote a letter to the person who does the scheduling for uh, my old store to let them know that I could only continue working one sh one shift a week, which was what I was already getting, because I had decided to get a second job because of the loss in hours. So I gave it to the cashier manager and then about half an hour later after I had left I received a phone call on my cell phone from the store manager telling me that because I decided to get a second part-time job and I could only work one day a week that I my position was being terminated because my position requires I'm available for two shifts a week. So I wanted to remain professional and I just said okay thank you and I hung up. Um, and to me, like, I wasn't really going to do anything because it wasn't a big deal. I mean, I had I already had a job, another job, and I was only working three hours a week anyways. But my mom kind of pushed me to, you know, like, like write a letter to the owner or, like, tell the owner what happened, right? And I was kind of like, you know, the owner's not going to do anything. He's not going to care. Like, he has enough stuff to do as it is. He doesn't, he doesn't need this on top of it. Um, but I decided, you know, I'll, maybe I'll write a letter to the owner. So... I wrote a letter to the owner and it was a like professional letter, like nice, like just saying what happened and how I'm a university student and I need more than three hours a week to financially support myself. And I thanked him for giving me the opportunity to work at the store. And um, I closed it up into a sealed envelope and I brought it into the store the next day and put it underneath his door because I didn't want to stick around and wait for him. I didn't really feel comfortable being in the store after what happened. So I stuck it underneath his door and then about an hour later he actually called me apologizing about what happened about uh, the about the manager about what she did to me and that he would be speaking with the manager about the situation to see what he can do for me. The reason why I'm I'm making this video is to let you guys know that like I wasn't gonna do anything because I figured like I I'm one employee at that store I wasn't I didn't even have like an important job like I just worked on the cash like no big deal I wasn't like an owner I wasn't the manager or anything like that right but it just proves that you have a voice and if you're being treated poorly at your store or if you've gone through the same thing I've gone through or if you're going through the same thing I'm going through use your voice you have one just be professional about it don't say mean things don't get in the heat of the moment just be professional about it and and maybe what happened to me will happen to you i'm still waiting to hear back from the owner he just called me yesterday apologizing i mean whatever happens happens but you know at least i got at least he knows what happens behind closed doors what at least he knows what what his managers are doing to people and stuff like that and you know i think that i'm i'm kind of happy that i did that because my manager wasn't the nicest lady in the world and I mean now he, he knows what's going on behind the scenes I guess. You guys have a voice and if you're going through something like this you need to use it. Uh, I'm sorry that I haven't posted a video. I'm a university student and school comes first so punishments I guess. I'm being punished for not posting a video. I mean Rules are rules and I have to follow them, so if you have punishments, just leave them in the comments and I'll do a, I'll do a punishment video sometime soon when I'm not studying, writing midterms, writing tests and quizzes and essays and fun stuff.
Okay, bye guys.